Hi, and welcome to the Garmin GMR XHD2 Series Radar Operation Tutorial Video. This tutorial will get you up and running by helping you configure and use your GMR XHD2 radar. All functions of this radar are controlled with your Garmin chart plotter. For specific operating instructions, see the radar section of your chart plotter manual. You can download the latest version of the manual at garmin.com support. But before you are ready to use your radar, there are some steps you must take first. Garmin constantly improves and updates software programs to improve operation. To make sure you have the most up-to-date software for your unit, go to garmin.com support. Now, before you can use the radar in your system, you must specify the antenna size. Naturally, the radar must already be mounted, connected to power, and connected to the Garmin Marine network before you can specify the antenna size. Turn on the radar and all devices connected to the Garmin Marine network. An antenna selection prompt appears on the connected chart plotters. Note, if the entire system is being powered on for the first time, the antenna selection screen is part of the initial setup process. Now, select the installed antenna size for each GMR XHD2 open array radar installed on the boat. If you need to specify a different antenna size, while viewing the radar screen for the radar you want to change, select Menu, Radar Setup, Installation, Antenna Configuration, Antenna Size, and select the antenna size. The front of boat offset compensates for the physical orientation of the radar scanner on a boat if the radar scanner does not align with the bow stern axis. So we'll need to measure the potential front of boat offset. To do that, we'll use a magnetic compass to take an optical bearing of a stationary target located within viewable range. Then we'll measure the target bearing on the radar and compare the two. If the bearing deviation is more than plus or minus one degree, you need to set the front of boat offset. So, let's set the front of boat offset. Fortunately, the front of boat offset setting that is configured for use in one radar mode is applied to every other radar mode and to the radar overlay. Now, from a radar screen or the radar overlay, select Menu, Radar Setup, Installation, Front of Boat. Select up or down to adjust the offset, and that's that. Now we'll set a custom park position for your open array radar. If you have more than one radar on your boat, you must be viewing the radar screen for the radar you want to adjust. By default, the antenna is stopped perpendicular to the pedestal when it is not spinning. You can adjust this position if you wish. To do so from the radar screen, select Menu, Radar Setup, Installation, Antenna Configuration, Park Position. Now, use the slider bar to adjust the position of the antenna when stopped and select Back. And just like that, you're ready to use your Garmin GMR XHD2 Open Array Radar. Now, let's look at some important features of your GMR XHD2 Radar. Vertical Range Scaling fits the selected radar range to the vertical size of your display to show more forward-looking radar returns on screen and make it easier to interpret target distances. Dynamic Auto Gain automatically adjusts gain levels to optimum settings for harbors, near shore, and offshore in open waters. Auto Bird Gain because fishermen know when you find birds at the water's surface You'll also find fish. Auto bird gain helps locate birds at the water surface where bait fish are also likely to be found. Dynamic sea filter. 
automatically adjust to varying seat conditions with user options for low, medium, or high filtering. MARPA Target Tracking, or Mini Automatic Radar Plotting Aid, tracks up to 10 selected targets, helping you keep track of other vessels and avoid collisions. Dual Range with Radar Overlay. This single radar antenna is capable of providing split-screen images on your chart plotter side-by-side -side with independent range setting and controls for both close and long range. One or both ranges can also be viewed as a chart overlay. Echo Trails leaves a historical trail on the screen to help you quickly and easily identify moving targets and potential collision threats. Pulse Expansion provides the ability to increase the duration of the transmit pulse, which helps maximize the energy on targets. This provides a larger target size on the chart plotter. Well, that about covers it. Now you should be able to apply the features of the GMR XHD2 radar to enhance your situational awareness on the water and also enjoy some advantages while fishing. <laughs>